All right, so Tab's here from Top Shelf to help us understand exactly what the lift is, how to use it, how to set it up. We're gonna show you all the different accessories that exist as of today. Uh, make sure to go check out our install video. Also go to uh, top, topshelfstoragesolutions.com. Correct. Uh, to go and see, they have a robust uh, of videos and, and instructions and how to set it up, so make sure to check that out. Yep. Uh, but today we're going to go through just the basic features. Sure. We're going to put bikes on it. We're going to put some cargo stuff on it. We're going to show you the canoe or the roof rack, yes. see how that works. And uh, But go check out some of the other videos on the channel for you know, more robust information. We tell the backstory of how this thing came about and all of that. So sure. this is my one-up rack. So this is my bike rack. Uh, this is a two-inch uh, trailer hitch hitch receiver, receiver. yep at which you uh, as we'll call, we'll call it trolley so correct trolley has a ball bearing we call them slides it's got slides. it's got wheels in it and it's it's designed to fit directly into this into this unistrut track which is the standard in the industry today so and then you have your your pulley cable yep the cable is designed to hold 2,000 pounds so no worries on the cable when it just an install note make sure you keep some weight on this so you don't get the they yeah, it's good to keep the off. when you when you're putting this thing together and installing it. Try to keep the, the some the t cable tight. Otherwise, it gets all bound up inside. So it, it does keep it smoother operating. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my bike rack in. Now my rack has a weird, really thin pin area, and I lost it when I moved into this house. I, I need to order one. And so what I'm doing on mine, this isn't advisable at home. <laughs> well, I'm you can do this. This I'm is just, okay. Well, but I would want the safety on. A there. lot of the yeah, a lot of the bike racks today do have the hand crank where they have the ball bearing tightener, and so you don't have to use a hitch pin. But we do supply um, the hitch pin, the 5 8 hitch pin with it that goes in the two inch ball. We also supply the smaller one for the inch and a quarter inch hitch receiver. So these bikes are, and again, the beauty of the lift is that it can utilize any hitch receiver attachment that you have today. Uh, two inch, inch and a quarter. It's designed, obviously the trolley is designed with a two inch hitch receiver. Keep you that want. one all the way back. All right, two inch hitch receiver, but you can buy the adapter, the, the, two, the inch and a quarter inch um, adapter, put it right into the, to the two, uh, two inch hitch receiver and use it just like you would on, it, on your vehicle. So. And so if you, yeah, if you had that, like if you had a, you know, like an actor MDX or something. Yeah, like some smaller. of the smaller vehicles have the inch and a quarter and it still works. You just need the adapter um, so that it's not wobbling around. So I'm bring that one all the way up here. Yeah. So now I'm set. That's what's so cool about this darn thing. Done. My bikes are up, they're out of the way, they're secured. And then we come press the button. <laughs> Just for the purpose of this video, I have a stop. So there's an actual um, washer, I guess, a square washer. Is that yeah, it, it actually has a track lock that comes with it that you can lock into. Again, it, this is some standard standard stuff. And you just put it in the, in the track where you want it to stop above the trolley, tighten it up, tighten it up good, and kind of identify you where you want it to stop so it's not hitting the ceiling or hitting something where you're going to damage your bikes in this case. Actually, this is the way to go. I put my bikes on backwards accidentally. Now I got room to go. See, and going higher. higher. Yeah. Right. Somebody, somebody mentioned that in my video, so now I'm going to set this. So again, he's got a nine foot ceiling. Approximately. Ten, well, it's 10 foot four. 10 foot four. Yeah, and I'm 6'2". Right. And so now I'm like at walk under height. Right, which is nice. And that way you can always park your, still park your vehicles in here. And again, this is for, to lock it to stop where you want to go up. But we also supply a pin that goes through the track on the side. There's holes in the side of this track that we, we put in there. And so when you're, you're not at home and you're going to store these up here for a while, or you don't want the kids to play with this thing, you can put this, this pin in this track. And so it ain't, it's not coming down. Even if I'm standing here, mm -hmm. not advised, it's not going anywhere, right? So it'll stop right there. It's on our air. 
So, uh, yeah, so we'll set the safety between the two. Right. We'll be good to go. So uh, let's do, uh, let's bring the bikes down. So the, the, the beauty of this thing to me is that I can unload and load my bikes. I can grab my bike rack. This is the same bike rack I put on my car. Yes. Uh, but then we also have the cargo rack. Oh, hold on, back up. I put the, I spelled it. See? Let's put the safety on. The safety <laughs> it worked. <laughs> And again, you can stop it at whatever height you want. If you if you're mounted this thing to the floor, it goes quite a ways down. And you just operate this just like you normally would on your car. And you can so you can move it to your car and load it up. And again, this use this works for any brand of bike rack or hitch receiver attachment you have. And that's kind of the beauty is use this stuff you already have and have somewhere to store it because these yeah, are big and bulky. Yeah. I mean, this thing weighs, I want to say it's probably 75 pounds. Yeah, some of them are, are pretty hefty. And you have to consider what your, your bike, your whatever, if it's a bike rack or a cargo rack or something else. Also, remember to count that into your weight capacity because that is part of your what you're lifting and storing. Capacity on the lift is... So 100 pounds, but capacity on the trolley is, is limited to 300 pounds. So you can put 300 pounds on each trolley, but remember trying to keep, trying to keep your weight capacity or your, your weight as close to the wall as you can. You killed that dog. <laughs> Chase, get in here. Shut your mouth. It's just like a kid. There you go. You good? Yep. So then we put our pin in. Now we can take the junction that should be. So we away. also have a cargo rack. And the beauty of this cargo rack, it's um, uh, a top shelf branded, is that it's deeper than typical uh, cargo yeah, rack. You can see that. I mean, if I put this all the way back. Right, you still have room. So this so is designed to fit coolers. Um, so the coolers can go uh, front to back instead of side to side and you can get three coolers or or storage bins in here and then you can stack the storage bins higher if they're not that heavy typically you're storing camping gear or christmas uh, decorations whatever which aren't that heavy they're just bulky so you can actually stack them higher depending on how high your ceiling is you know as high as you want to go tires. wheels and tires tools way up and then your track length so track lengths we have it set up for common size if you need something special we can special order yeah so typically on you can order it uh, standard 8 9 10 11 12 we already have those pre-cut ready to go but if you have an odd size ceiling height um, let us know we can cut them specific and if, if you want us to ship you the longest track and you cut it yourself, that's fine too. This is not hard. You can cut it with a hard. saw, you can cut it with a cutoff wheel. Saber can... saw, any, really any metal kind of blade will cut this really so pretty easily. Yeah, a uh, jigsaw. Yeah. So then the other accessory that currently exists is the roof rack. Yes. But it's not just for roof racks. Exactly. It's really anything. Right. So the roof rack is meant to emulate um, the, roof, the rails on top of your SUV. And so that these rails basically are emulating the top of your SUV rails. And so if you can put kayaks on the top of here, canoes, ladders, anything that's long that you want to get off the wall or off the floor, you can put it on here and go up. So you take even the attachments that are going on the roof rack on the roof rails can be mounted right to these bars. These bars are meant to be the same size as that. So you can mount them right to this, adjust where you want them. And again, move it as close to the wall as you can and uh, use that un unused headspace in your garage for storing all those bigger, bulkier items. How are you strapping bungees usually? You can use bungees. We also have cargo, cargo nets that we have okay. uh, that will go right for this. And it's good to use bungees or cargo um, straps to kind of strap stuff down. Yeah. 
So this comes in a 200 pound lift and a 400 pound lift. This is the 400. Which yes. We generally recommend you can save yourself 100 bucks by doing the 200 pound lift. You can. Uh, and then each one of these accessories is rated for 300. So this is this is typically rated for 200 because it's so long. Got you it. can lift 300 pounds if you're closer to the wall. It's really limited based on I mean, the all track. All the things you mentioned, you'd have you wouldn't be able to get enough of them on there. Yeah. Get, you know, a canoe is weighed. You know, they're not 30, that heavy. 30, 40 pounds a piece. So, you know, this will lift mainly because of space. It'll lift four kayaks at once, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So available in the store. Make sure to check out our install video, check out our backstory video, and uh, we'll probably be doing more installs. Actually, I'm selling this house, so we'll have another can house. do it again. And then I'm building another house, and so we'll be doing this multiple Yeah, times. and so one of the beauties of the, is of the lift is that you can take it with you. This, the lift's gonna last for a long time. I put that on my list as an optional. Yeah. You know, you know, I'll sell you the lift, but the lift doesn't come with exactly. you. Exactly. sucker off the wall. Yeah, make them pay for it because it, it can either come with you or you can, you can make it as an accessory for I your home. I think most people, once they see it, they'll have to have it. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's one of my favorite garage products of all time. And I'm excited for, for what we're gonna do with this thing. So thanks for coming down. And uh, yeah, hit us up if you have questions, support, sesgarage.com. And uh, you can always email me, Matt, at obsessedgarage.com, or Tab's available as well. It's T-A-B-B. T-A-B-B dot B-U-E-L at topshelfstoragesolutions.com or support at topshelfstoragesolutions.com. If you have any questions on how to install this thing or put it together or, or have some ideas on new product ideas. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.